Okay. I'm I'm not in my chair because I'm all the way in Pop's chair. <laughs> Hopefully, if anybody's in the chat, could you say something? Make sure you can hear me. I'm doing this all by myself today. Oh, no. Hopefully, I've done it right. Looks like I got volume reading. Okay. We're going a little early. Sorry. I just didn't want to mess things up. Well, I probably have already. Hold on. Okay. Do do do. Yeah, no fancy intro today, people. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yep. No, no fancy intro. Hopefully, we're good. We're good. We're good. Oh yeah. Okay. All right. Well, welcome. Welcome to uh, Saturdays. Or sorry, not even Saturdays. Let's. Uh, uh oh. Hold on. The keypad is not set up. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Woes is me. Uh, I was working on the finishing uh, border pieces for our pixelated quilt we were working on on the weekend. So let me just tidy that up. Yeah, so hello. Hello, hello, Renee. Good morning, good morning. I am going to have to look this way for, for chat, and there's no selfie cam, and at this point, I don't even know if there, oh, there is overhead. Oh, okay, hold on. Let's test this. I just, it was, it looked different. No, why is that black? That shouldn't be black. Okay, hold on. Let's go back to Maine. Oh, darn it. Don't tell me we don't have a Sophie cam today. I mean, an overhead cam today. Maybe that one. Hold on. Patience is a virtue, I tell you. Negatory Batman. Uh-oh. Oh, Snaggle Bottoms. Mm, hello, hello, welcome. Welcome, everybody. Happy Tuesday. Uh, Pop was out the door at 6 a.m. and I know he set this up beforehand and it's probably me. Thank you, I bought them for myself. I love, I love um, carnations. And this one broke because I was filling it up with fresh water. So I was like, I just stick and sniff it. It's my favorite. I, I grew up in a flower shop. My mom, rest, her, rest, her, rest in peace, just behind me, um, managed a, a flower shop like the whole time I was growing up. So literally I was right beside her. I was water the plants, I'd go to work with her, I'd dust the shelves, I, you know, I, I broke a few vases, <laughs> played in the hot glue, not good. <laughs> Learned a lot. So um, I think we might be foobarred on the overhead for this and I really am sorry. Let's try and hit the button again. If not, Munchkin said I could text him. Okay, no, I don't think we're getting anything. Okay, so mean. Alrighty. Um, let me let me send Munchkin a text real quick. <laughs> He's in here somewhere. I know we communicated. There we go. <laughs> it was a while ago. Okay, all right, so let's pack up this, which was the continue, what I was trying to put as the border pieces, I needed to make like 36 of them for the pixelated uh, uh, pixelated flake there. So let's put all that in there, little project bag so nothing gets lost, and our paperwork. Oh, get back in there, don't fold. You can do it. Make sure it's nice and big to make sure you can get your paperwork in there too, right? And then you get it all nice and handy dandy. You could just tuck it away and then get back at it. So after the stream today. So what I did start was another um, stitch project to do after this one. Now uh, some of you know what happened to this one. Um, uh, I was I took Sophie to the 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 vet, and uh, in her excitement to see me again after the vet trip, she jumped into the front seat, and this is where this was sitting, and she like you know stepped her little paws on it. So instead of washing it and possibly getting rid of the lines I've already done. I'm continuing to stitch it. I'll wash it after I have finished stitching it. And if it turns out nice, I'll give it to my niece. It'll be for her birthday instead of for Christmas because you know stuff happens and you just gotta adapt. I, I made sure she got something else. And um, and then we'll, you know, we'll go on from there. So I did for the second project, 
which was um, I got like a, a dragon head here sort of thing and I've traced it out with a washable one or an iron away one, okay? So, and I just want, I needed to finish up that but I was hoping for the overhead for that. Hmm. Do you might know how you can help with that? I don't know, cause look, look, watch. If I go overhead, if I hit the button, yeah. all I get is black. So I, okay, I don't know what's going on. If you need me to hit, do things here. Okay, all right, thank you. I appreciate your help. I know you're working. Mm -hmm. Hello, Ruth. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Mm -hmm. Hello, hello. Tree beards. Good morning, good morning, good morning, everybody. I thought I hit the main. All right, don't tell me main's not working now, too. Oh, good gravy. Okay, we're good. Whew. I'll be like. <laughs> and that's why I am not tech savvy. I can make myself a good old cup of tea, though. <laughs> and that's why I don't do this without Popper Munchkin, because I'm just not capable. <laughs> and happy to see Miss Gwendy Simpson here. In fact, I have some of her thread that she mailed to me. I got, like, um, hold on, I got some red and some green and some white in the mail. And the red is really shiny, and I thought I might use maybe one strand and an embroidery floss in doing the smaller scales, but I don't know. It's a bit, I don't know. I don't know if I want to risk that. It might, might break. Yay, I know it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Thank you so much. That was really nice. That was a very lovely surprise in the mail. And it was a little uh, place called Quilting and Needle Crafts, Fabric, Notions, Kits, Patterns, Classes, Drop-In Center, Online Store. And it's home of Material Girls, Long Arm Quilting, and they are in Killiam, Alberta. Mm, crafting Creations Quilt Gallery, where every quilt tells a story. Ain't that the truth, girl? Mm-hmm, exactly. Hopefully, I, hopefully I, that was a good shout out to them. Do, uh, uh, new uh, shop online for a selection of approximately 10,000 bolts of fabric at shop.trend. Textfabrics.com. Use code CHE010 at checkout to let them know you're our customer. Okay. Well, huh, sorry. Uh, maybe I gave something away there and I shouldn't have. I'm sorry. <laughs> but if anybody from Canada wants to go shopping, oh, put that back up. And put that back up. Okay, there we go. So thank you, Gwenny. That was lovely. That was a lot. Oh, thank you, Munchkin. Oh my gosh, you're the bomb diggity dude. So it worky worky. Hold on, let's test. Let's test. It's still not worky worky. Why? It was though. The buttons. Why? What? What the buttons? I think the buttons. Uh, Hello, Anne. Uh, I haven't found you since September when I had to have leg amputated. Oh my goodness! Bless you, girl. Bless you. Bless you. Um, hopefully you're healing up and you're okay. And we we are here for you. We're here for you. Good morning, Nancy. Hello, hello, and hello, Regine. Hello, Anne. Thank you, Anne. Here, we're in Charlotte Poe. Mm -hmm. Sherry Harris. Okay. So why why we get that one, but why don't we have the other one? Thank. I've had this for like. Two decades? Honestly, I've had this for a very long time. I don't even know, remember where I got it, to tell you the truth. It's very warm. I was feeling chilly. I got up really early with Pop this morning. He, he was up at 5 a.m., so I was up with him. And, uh, yeah, so it was kind of like, after he left, I'm like, uh, I'm bored, so I must well start sewing. So I started sewing the, the border pieces for the um, quilt project that we were working on. Yes, exactly, Gwenny. Glad you're here, Ruth, and that you're mending and you're and you're healing and you are in good spirits because let me tell you that um, we always thought that my mom should have got her ankle amputated and she was so, I came into this world whole, I'm leaving this world whole and I think it could have changed her life if she would have opted for that instead of going the way that she did, like being in a... You know, so anyways, nonetheless, just saying, I'm, I'm, we're here for you. Try it now? Okay. Hold on. Overhead. Sorry, I, I'm trying to get this done a little earlier. 
Oh, you're amazing. High five, fist bump. Love you, bub. Okay, so now that we have that, let's move my little book over. So what I was doing, as you all know, the first time around for this dragon, I traced something from this dragon book. So now I have the pin, the proper pin, and I have my sheet of white fabric that I can see through. And if you needed to, you could always rip your page out and put it under a light or up against a window and tape it. I mean, there's many, many ways to get the project done, right? So this is just a guideline. Hopefully these lines are gonna disappear either by, by water or by heat. Just line this back up again, a, a bit-ish anyways. And I didn't do every single line that was in here in the horns, but I know I can stitch as many as I need to as I'm stitching it, right? So, and I thought about doing this one with blue thread. I have a blue spool just like this one, uh, or blue or black. What do you guys think, blue or black? What do you think this dragon would look really good in, blue or black? And I also have another layer of this white fabric to go underneath. So I think I learned that with the first little dragony project um, that it should be two layers when it comes to the fabric I'm using, which I have plenty of. I have a huge, huge bolt of this. So, so let's just actually let's put my old lady goggles on so I actually see what I'm doing and finish tracing this one out because it's not. It doesn't have much to go here. Got the little fire coming out of his mouth. It's really just, this is just a headpiece. It's more like a, a, a bust, I guess. Uh, it's not actually a full dragon. So it should be a little bit, uh, it's big different. We've got some nice little scales here. And I think maybe in the scales, we could probably even add some beads or something. So I just want everybody to be inspired. You don't necessarily have to have a cross stitch project. You can have this lovely coloring book and go and make something for, you know, uh, your family member that they, you know, they always love it or, you know what I mean, trace a poem. Do just do some fun, happy stitching, you know, for, for people you love. Okay, I think we're good. I think it looks pretty good. Make sure I got the nose, the teeth. Come down on there, come up there. That's the tongue. Make sure that maybe the tongue kind of connects. We got the jaw, the jaw, and then the big, big fang tooth coming down there. Got the eye, the pupil. Definitely got the nose and the nostrils and the side horns, definitely. Could use a little bit more of a tip on that one. Okay, I think we're okay. I think that looks pretty good, doesn't it? I think that's gonna be blue, yeah? Okay, okay, okay. Cause that'll be the next one. And like I say, I have another uh, strip of fabric. What did I do with, oh my gosh. I was in such a tizzy today. <laughs> But there, I do have another big chunk of fabric, so. And that's the, the picture I, I've traced it off of. So that'll be the second one from this book, uh, the Book of 100 Dragons, Level 2. And uh, it's just for coloring or doodling. And there, this is where, oh, look at that one. It kind of looks like, uh, I don't know, a little one of those Japanese dragon knees, like the ones that go down in the parades and stuff like that. It is from Mexico. And I like it that they're labeled too. You got like griffin ones here and you know, tiger ones. And this is where I got the other one uh, for th that in there as well, you know, so. Be inspired by what you have. Oh, that would be a nice one. That's not too complicated. I mean, that'd be a little, little challenging. This you might, I don't know how you'd fill in that though. Maybe tiny little, maybe beads. Beads would be pretty to fill in that, so I don't know, whatever, sorry. <laughs> Sometimes it just get overwhelmed. And then uh, we also had this one that we got for pop, which is like med medallias, mandalas, mandalas. And you could easily be inspired by this as well. You don't necessarily have to trace out every single uh, aspect of it, but you can do like the basic outline, some of the circles, couple of the lines, just to, you know, do something really pretty. You found something you liked. You don't have to necessarily do it in the great Or you like this so much, you just blow it up a bit more and then you can just trace it out as much as you like, right? Be inspired by what's around you and what's free online. Like seriously, really, really, really. Okay, so that'll be cool. That'll be an awesome little dragon. Maybe I'll stitch it this way so it's like opposite of what I've traced out. That would be a challenge, wouldn't it? 
be interesting. <laughs> Hello, Miss Lois. I was just showing how I was getting inspiration from this book and traced out our new project. And we're gonna do it in blue. We're gonna do it in blue. I got some dark blue. So, yeah. And I just found something in here that I thought maybe uh, the munchkin might like, and he's got a birthday coming up in March. He'll be 25. I can't believe it. So I thought being doing something like a little nice little wall hanging or, you know, a pillow for him, I thought would be kind of cute. So, all right. Mm-hmm. I know. Isn't that cute? So I just finished uh, showing people how I was inspired and using a pin that's either going to wash away or iron away. But nonetheless, I'm not hopefully not going to get it wet <laughs> in between. But that'll be the next project. But right now, we're going to finish this one that Sophie has definitely stomped her love on. <laughs> we were so close to being finished. I didn't want to not finish it. So uh, here, let's go back to the main camera for a second. Get my little tea bag out of my teacup. And cheers, everybody. Good morning and happy, happy tea. Happy tea. Um, I'm, uh, Pop is away. He's down in Sarnia. He's about three hours away. Um, yeah, he's just got a six hour drive today, back and forth just to get home, plus wherever, whatever time he's got to put in where he's working, so. Mm -hmm. Oh, patient has requested tea. Okay, Ed. <laughs> Tell John hello. <laughs> did you have a fun so Oh my gosh, did I ever, Wendy? That is a dick dig. I spent $124. <laughs> But that wasn't all me. I was on, I was on, I was behind Pop. It was on Pop's computer. He was controlling the keyboard. He was, and I, I'm like, I like that one, but we didn't win it. And that was our first one. We were like, oh, that's okay. And I'm like, okay, you need to hover over that keyboard there, Pop. Come on now. And you need to refresh. I need to, that is so addicting. It's so funny. <laughs> it was so funny. Oh my gosh. Mm. It was, it was good. It was good fun. I, in the two hours, by the time it was 1115 my time, like two and a half, two hours and a bit past this, the stream, I, I puttered off to go have a shower and then came back and pop said he bought something. So I'm like, oh, okay. Like, so it's a surprise to me what comes in the package. <laughs> uh, <laughs> It was so, it was funny. It was funny. So, but at least it wasn't that big of a, a big bill. I got two uh, five yard bundles, like all, all one yard or one color. And then two other fives. And I don't know what, I know I bought one of the fives and one of the other ones. I don't know what pop bought. So I think he might've bought two, not, not necessarily just one. So <laughs> giant fried egg sandwich. Uh Oh, <laughs> but you're not really. <laughs> Yeah, I did have, I had fun, Wendy. Thank you for asking. It was, it was good fun. And I can, I can see that is like the biz. Let me tell you, they got a good thing going. And they seemed to know who we were, which was fantastic. That was so awesome. I was like, <laughs> popping up all proud. <laughs> yeah, it was cool. It was cool. It was nice to be able to, uh, to uh, share back and forth sort of thing. Yeah. So we will finish off this. Yeah, they're, it's a, they, look, they sound like a great, fantastic family, right? Like, uh, and that's what we're all about, too. We're about our little munchkin family, and, you know, it's a, only a family of three. It's not as big as their family, but, hey, you got to start somewhere, right? So, but, yeah, so you will see this is a little dirty. Let's go to overhead, actually, so you can see what I'm doing. Uh, this is a little dirty, but... Uh, um, I will wash it afterwards. It's just because Sophie stomped on it after the bed. <laughs> and I didn't care that she did. I just, I, I didn't want her to get a needle in the foot. I'm like, oh my gosh, we're already at the vet already. So when she stomped on it and punched it through, I just kind of scooted it off to the side. So with the needle, so the fabric, and then she kind of stomped on it on the side is there too. I'm like, that's okay. That's, yeah, I can deal with it afterwards. Yeah, I kind of went with the moisture from the snow and uh, yeah, it kind of made that red bleed. But I'd rather to finish it, wash it. If it bleeds a little bit, and adds a little bit of texture to it or, or, or depth to it in the end because it'll all be that way, not just that one section, right? So, you know, fingers crossed and it, it hopefully it works. If it, if it doesn't um, turn out the way I'm hoping, I won't give it to her. I'll just do something else for her for her birthday. And, uh, and um 
and 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 then just keep this for myself. So. Ooh, 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 ooh. Do you stay in it? I, I don't know, I don't know. Yeah, because it's got like dirt from the parking lot and you know, whatever was covered on her paws and it was a very snowy day. Mm. Oh, that is fantastic. Yeah, I like the good family atmosphere like that, you know? That's, that's the way it should be. You know? that, that's good. And it seemed like, um, Tien come uh, really was interested in collaborating on something with us up here, so that was like super stoked. All 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 happy, happy in my chair. So do I see that all right? Let's bring it out. Hey, Baze, what's going on? Hello, Holly. Oh, thanks for the tea stain idea. Mm, is he the 24, 20? Yeah, he's just a young, he's like Munchkin's age, right? So, just, he's, he's just a Munchkin. Mm -hmm. Welcome, Lynn. Backsy, I'm, I'm just stitching around. Stitching around. Making her pretty and stitching around. I'm trying to, anyways. Mm -hmm. It's here. I giggled every time they called out your name. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. I, I I sent a text to 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 Lois and to Allison, going, "I blame you. <laughs> I blame you. This guys got me hooked on this." <laughs> Mama, pop, I worked at worked to so yeah for two point five years. At, as their long armor got to run to Bernina to a Q24. Oh, very nice, Rosie. A Susie Rose. Very nice. That's awesome. Yeah, I love my my Walt, my my Gamel Statler. That's my beautiful long arm. Good morning, Ms. Lena. How's it going? How's it going? Filling in some stitches. So with the main main lines here, because this was always just a rough sketch to begin with, I just decided to stitch it up, see how it would turn out. Um, so I did I did a better job when I was tracing out this one. Sorry, this one. Um, so I'm except the eye. Where's the eye? Yeah, I actually I'll have to find it now. I forgot the second eye. Whoa, whoa! He's only got one eye. He's a one-eyed dragon. <laughs> I'll have to find it in here and fix it and make sure it got in there. So that'll, that'll be nicer, especially with the, the blue thread. So I think the blue thread would be cool. 2003, oh, 2015 for me. That's when we bought, bought Walt and I was learning. I was learning, I wanted, I had a passion. I had a passion, I had a dream. And I enjoy it. I have a lot of fun, and it, I, it's the between me and the machine, we make some beautiful quilts. So, you know, it's all good. It's all good. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Yeah, when I I might have to make them purple instead. No, <laughs> no. It, it's there. I just forgot to to to, to um, draw it in, or I'm sure it is. Either that or it's just at that angle where you can't see the second eye. I love long arming too. It's fun. It's good fun. And thank you for joining us today there, Susie. That's very nice. Purple and jade. Ooh, that'd be nice. That'd be pretty. Well, it's going to be for Munchkin. It's going to be a, a birthday gift for Munchkin, so... Whether he knows it or not, it doesn't matter. I'm going to try my best. No, they did not. Oh, that's a bit of a bone of contention there, Wendy. So I sent an email to my boss at the township, who, you know, township's paid me for, um, you know, 12 years now since I've worked for them. And he informed me that the extended time off due to COVID will not be paid to uh, the crossing guards because the school is not open. 
So I will be, if, if it doesn't go any longer than the end of the month, I will be without pay for six weeks. Because that's, I was expecting the two weeks off for Christmas vacation. I understand that. That's expected. There's no reason why I should get paid. But when it comes to time that I should have been there and I could have been there and I'm more than willing to be there uh, and it's already in the budgeted for us to be there, I don't understand. So I kind of put a little hissy tissy out on Facebook last night before I went to bed because I was so peed off. Well, see, I don't really know because I don't want to have to pay anything back. That's that's not cool. I don't understand that. I'm not paying anything back when I've completely earned it. Nor do I want it, um, you know, I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's a little confusing at this point. I don't know if I have to get something from the township to say I can or what, or if when it's extended or if it's extended, so... It's just annoying, and it's it's not fair. It really isn't, you know. So hold on, I need some tea. If you are not a hand stitcher, do you think this would work from matching sewing? What do you mean? What do you mean there, David and Jessica? Good morning, Josie. How you doing? I'm trying to finish off this project for my niece, Sarah Lynn. If it turns out, if it turns out. I know, so I, and I feel, I, I feel like my township has let me down. You know what I mean? When they, like somebody I've worked for for 12 years and I've stepped up and above and beyond my duty as a crossing guard and a safety officer of this community. And I'm like, I feel like I've just been like, ah, you know, pat it on the head, go deal with it yourself. I'm like, I said, I have bills to pay too. Like I have responsibilities for this house. You know, YouTube doesn't pay for everything, right? Like <laughs> we all have to work is, you know, Pop still does his full-time job. Uh, I, I still do, I was do was trying to do my part-time job and then do whatever else I do here between the quilt shop and, you know, videos and stuff, right? Like it's just, it's, uh, erg, erg. Get that growly face on. That's what I feel like. Gotta get the growly face on. <sighs> mm, hello, Miss Dawn. How's it going today? Just trying to finish off this uh, awesome little unicorn dragon. Unicorn horse dragon thing in my bobber. I believe it said in the book it was from Japan, or at least a concept art from Japan. Mm -hmm. Yes, welcome, welcome, welcome to the stream. Good, good, excellent, where are you from? Where are you from there, Don? Where's Ruth Coppler from as well? Where are you, where are you guys from? Happy, happy Tuesday. Are you using the, uh, the outlines? I'm just kind of stitching back and forth, filling it up. Some stitches are a little bit longer than others when it came to like spikes and stuff. I'm just having some fun filling up the lines, making it look pretty, you know, trying to go with what I thought would look lovely. So now right over here, and I can kind of pop down here and work on some of those lines. I had to use vacation time to get paid well off with the, vi oh yeah, oh yeah, no kidding, right? Outside Sacramento, California, very nice there, Lynn. Granddaughter is just mesmerized by the screen, <laughs> we're from Minnesota. Well, hello, hello, welcome, welcome. I'm not sure. I have looked into it, though. So, hello, Miss Pamela Ballister. Welcome, welcome to the chat. Oops, sewing machine. I don't see why you couldn't. You can do it as a free motion, like a, a stitch out sort of thing, right? So, well, cheers, everybody. Tea, tea, Earl Grey, a little sugar, a little milk. Michigan, welcome, welcome. 
You guys are friends. Holly and Ruth, your neighbors. Hello, Tracy. Uh, from what I understand from my daughter in Alberta, you don't get unemployment type benefits because you have another job. I know, and that's why it's very confusing because I have a job. I'm willing to work it, and I'm not looking for anything else. So it's kind of like, I don't know. It's like, it's, it's just really annoying right now. Mm -hmm. Minnesota too. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you guys are all over the place. <laughs> See, your neighbors, your neighbors, it's a small world, I have to tell you. The internet makes things to be a small world. It's all quiet in the house. Munchkin's downstairs working for his uh, internship. Pops out and about gallivanting next to the border down in Sarnia, which is, you know, right next, right next pretty much, oh, Sarnia, you guys are hanging out, so. I said, don't miss that turn off or you're going to end up at the border and they're not going to let you through. <laughs> they won't let you turn around. You'll be stuck there. <laughs> he goes, I think there's a spot where you can turn around if you happen to miss the last exit. And I'm like, okay, good. <laughs> I've never been down to Sarnia, so I don't know. I asked if he could see the wall too, but, you know. <laughs> you know. Mm-hmm. Yes, good morning, everybody. Good morning, good morning. Happy everybody's here. So what I'm doing is doing the main lines in this big spool of red thread I got gifted to me. And then for some of the small scale ones here, I'm going to use just uh, probably a thread of a skein of embroidery floss. Okay. And I may highlight the horn like up on here on the inside, do an inside stitch and highlight the horn maybe uh, with that that shiny red. So we'll see, we'll see how it goes. No, Sarnia isn't far. Well, it's, well, it's three hours from us, but uh, definitely not far from the border. Nope, not from far from the border. Yes, and my beautiful flowers. That was when it broke off. Yeah, I usually get uh, since my mom passed away in uh, March, actually, she passed away on Munchkin's birthday, unfortunately. But, you know, it's unfortunate she passed away. <laughs> but if you're going to pass away, you know, make it memorable, right? Um, so uh, I've been buying myself flowers about once a week ever since. So maybe once every two weeks. Because it reminds me of her, and I don't want to forget her. Mm-hmm. Not saying I would, but you know what I mean. Just I love, and I love the smell of the carnations. And there's not, it's not like it's a, they're expensive. So, carnations are my favorite. Mm, perhaps you need to contest this decision. I, I, I. He knows. He knows I don't agree with it, and, um, like. It, it feels like I'll, I'll be fighting for a lost cause, but I'm just more concerned, like, what if they continue to extend this beyond just this January? Because our numbers have jumped dramatically. Like, we used to have 1,500 cases almost a day. Now we got 4,060 dead. Like, it's, it's crazy. She'd rather have plants instead of flowers. Yeah. I grew up in a whole house full of plants, and yet I don't, I have like cactus, not, um, aloe vera. That's the only plants I have. Aloe vera plants are little cactus plants. That's it. I grew up with the ones that used to climb. You put it in a basket and you climb all the way across the kitchen, the little ivy sort of looking ones with all the, the green and the white on the, the, the leaves and stuff. It gets so big and so, yeah, it was crazy. I grew up in a house that was full of plants. Yeah, I don't really have any. <laughs> no green thumb here. No, it's not easy being green. You got that right there, bot. <laughs> oh, oh. That's my tail. 
Ooh, ooh, ooh. There we go. Fur there, there we go. Yeah, like it's <laughs> they they were always all over the place. Like even in the bathroom, there's like two or three in the bathroom. I'm like you can't even have a shower. I feel like I'm in the jungle, you know. So maybe that's why I don't have plants. I like a fish tank, but Munchkin doesn't. He says he finds it very annoying to have a fish tank. So we haven't had fish tanks since we moved here. Oh, I mean, we have the fish tank. It's a big one, but uh, we've never set it up. Because I said I was going to, and he's like, I really wish we wouldn't. And I said, well, maybe we should just get a turtle or a couple of lizards instead. It doesn't, you know, it could be an atrium. It doesn't necessarily have to be a, a fish tank, right? We can use it for something else, but it never happened. Hello, Miss Sonia Johnson. Good morning, good morning. We're continuing to stitch away at this... Uh, Japanese dragon unicorn huffaluffs. I don't know what we're going to call it, but. Well, I guess I'm trying to finish it off for Sarah Lynn. I guess I know it's a little dirty, but I will wash it after I am done. Sophie just put her love on it, that's all. <laughs> and I was so close to getting it finished, I didn't want to toss it away. So I thought, finish it, finish it, finish it, finish it. Indeed. We're going to have a roast for dinner tonight. I'm going to put it in the instant pot with a can of cream of mushroom soup and maybe a half an onion or something like that. I'm going to brown up the onion though first. I'm going to give it some seasoning with the garlic and all that good stuffies. And then that'll cook and it'll be so yummy. And we can probably have that all broken down on a bed of noodles for dinner. Because I don't want Pop to have to think about anything. I don't want to have to think about anything. So at lunchtime, I will go and prep that. I have three plants in my bathroom. <laughs> two, two tall ones and a spider plant that has sent out long trailers near into the bath. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I'm coming for Well. I don't know, maybe I was traumatized, but it's still one of my favorite movies, which is Little, um, uh, little Shop of Horrors uh, with Rick Moranis, and it's, you know, Audrey and Audrey 2 and stuff. Oh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe that's... Uh, I, I love the movie. It was one of my, my, my very, very, very favorite movies. Right. Feed me Seymour. Yeah, no, it's an awesome, awesome movie, but maybe that's what threw me off. It's like, I'm afraid now. They're going to come and eat me if I grow them. <laughs> like, I'm not growing plants. <laughs> they need to become carnivores. <sighs> yeah, maybe, exactly. My son went to fish tanks 10 plus. 10 plus, what do you mean? 10 plus. Um, short ribs and sauerkraut and a slow cooker. I don't like sauerkraut. I don't know why. Maybe it's the canned stuff or the jarred stuff, but uh, what did I have? Uh, we were in... <laughs> Downtown Philadelphia it was one of our very first adventures after we moved there. Munchkin was maybe three. I think we'd been, I think we'd been there maybe six months, maybe six months. Uh, yeah, because we moved there in October, so it would have been the spring by the time we went downtown Philadelphia just to, you know, see the steps of Rocky and you know all that, all the stuff and the t and the bell and everything else, right? So, and I remember having. That was my first time having sauerkraut, and it was on a hot dog or a smoky or a sausage -y thingy, I don't know, from a cart. And I enjoyed the, the smoky sausage thingy. I just didn't like the sauerkraut for some reason. I thought, you know what, just, just make it how you make it for everybody, I said to the guy. And he's like, okay. So he, he made it up, and I, because I, I get it, you got to try thing, new things, right? So, but it was my favorite. Well, it's not my favorite, but that's okay, though. I don't know if he freshly made his or it just came from a jar or, or what, so. They didn't cook it right then. Is this supposed to be super soft and, because I heard it's like soft and tangy. Like it's, it's got that tang to it because of all the vinegar and stuff, right? But I'd like to try it. 
Oh, 10 tanks. Oh my gosh. Oh my, that's a lot of tanks. That's a lot of tanks. My very first fish tank was actually bought to, to me by uh, one of my mom's friends when I was young. I think it was my, probably 12th, 12th, I'm gonna say 12th or probably 13th or 14th birthday. I was, I was really young, but old enough to, to look after a tank anyway, so. And it was a good size, it was a fair size. I guess this is the start, normal starter tank size. And I got some goldfish and I kept those alive for a long time. So <laughs> we started off with little things. <laughs> Sometimes the, 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 the fish would just go and I didn't, I didn't understand why. And, but uh, no, it definitely taught me how to, you know, clean and feed and prep and not overfeed because they will, I didn't realize they would gorge themselves to the fact that they would, you know, pass away because they overfed. Like these are all things you gotta learn about fish. Rinsed sauerkraut, pan fried in butter and brown sugar. Okay, now you're just kind of making me hungry. <laughs> wow, that's a lot of tanks. Okay, now home for Milo the bearded. Oh, a dragon! Oh, I like a bearded dragon. They're cute. See, one of my first uh, gigs when I was a kid. Uh, was volunteering at the Calgary Zoo. I grew up in Calgary, Alberta, and I was really the tank and poop cleaner upper of the reptiles uh, section of the, you know, and I, sometimes I'd go elsewhere, but I didn't deal with any any animals myself. I, I wasn't allowed to touch them because I was just a volunteer and, you know, I, and you did the cleaning. That was your, your task, right? But I didn't mind it. I Just seeing the other animals in their tanks and, and, and in contraptions and seeing how they, well they were looked after, they really were. And they were loved and, you know, off times, you know, when they weren't, weren't supposed to be on display, they were, you know, if the ones that needed cuddling were cuddled and stuff. It was, it was really neat. It was really neat. So, and that's when I kind of got into, you know, lizards and turtles and like geckos and frogs and all that sort of stuff. I loved it. Mm -hmm. I like sauerkraut right out of the jar or can. So what is it? Is it, is it, it's tangy though, isn't it? Has it got some tang to it? I'll have, to, I'll have to try it again. It's been a long time, clearly, because Munchkin, like I said, is going to be 25, and he was probably only three, so 22 years ago was the last time. Oh, good night, Dawn. Take care. Big hugs to you. Thanks for hanging out with us today. Yeah, it's got, it's got tang. Isn't it fermented? Well, I thought maybe it might have been. Not any more than a pickle, and a pickle has more tang. Oh, okay. Okay, well, that's a good description. Mm -hmm. Okay, should be able to get to the top of this line before we got to start a new thread. Please excuse the noisy truck going up the road and the other noisy truck following right behind it. <laughs> Chickens were all excited to come out today. They had some leftovers from the the fridge. I gave them some little bit of leftover yogurt, some rice and some vegetables, uh, the lettuce bottoms and outside leaves to a head of lettuce and some uh, tomato top and bottom. And, oh yeah, they were they were all woo, we loving you. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Oh, granddaughter. Oh, it's nighttime. Catch you later. Okay. Good night, granddaughter. Okay. Awesome job, right? <laughs> that I make, but can't happen. <laughs> yeah, too bad. I know, right, Pace? <laughs> if only everything was instantaneous transportation. You know. All right, let's try and tie this off and then we can come and fill in here. We got these ones to do here, these ones to do here. These were small ones. I have to do a little bit in here, but all those little uh, like scalped edge or scale ones, I'm gonna do in a different thread and then I have to come back up in here. So it's not a lot, oh, and a little bit here, a little bit here, I guess to finish out the horn and the twirl of the horn or something, something like that maybe. Oh, and yeah, I was gonna save the, the teeth and stuff with the smaller threads, but this one I'll, I'll do in here. So. <laughs> yeah, I watch Star Trek uh, every night. That's, I kind of fall asleep to it on Netflix, so. 
It's kind of like I watched the beginning of the episodes, but I never really know what happens in the end. <laughs> I never really know. It's like I got to if, if it was if I was interested in it, but still fell asleep. I was too tired. If I still fell asleep, I'll go and rewatch it. But uh, <laughs> other than that, it's just like oh, on to the next episode. Put the timer on for one hour and sleep. <laughs> All right, <clears throat> I think I had one already loaded. Here, let's go back to main camera for a second here. Sweet. That's more of our tea before it gets too cold. And cheers, everybody. <clears throat> cheers, cheers, cheers. Yeah, I almost picked up the pink with the little darker pink tint to them, but I'm like, you know what? I like the cream ones. Let's go for the cream ones this time around. So I like mixing it up. Sometimes you get mixed colored ones. But they smell pretty. They smell pretty. Hi from Arizona, working on some squares of various designs, hand embroidery. Very nice, Deanne. Very nice. Yeah, you gotta keep yourself busy and it's nice to be creative. So, you know, why not, right? Why not? Yeah, I get a little bit more with the main thread to do. Definitely here, here, and in here. The back there. A bit of the leg there. Mm -hmm. Should be okay. Should be okay. All right, I'll grab this one. It's already threaded. Yeah, so it'll be a nice little roast dinner tonight. And cream of mushroom soup. It'll be delicious. I sure can, Miss Lewis. Hold on, right here. <clears throat> the Book of Dragons, level two. It's, I meant I should clip it or put a piece of paper in it, but there's a, I, mean, I think that's why I just went so you guys can see them all. So do look. Oh, that's a cool one. Ooh, that'd be a neat one to do. I haven't seen that one yet. And I flipped through here a few times. Look at that nice bird. That bird one there too. Like you got somebody who likes birds and stuff like that. It's cool. And you don't have to do as many details as it has on here, but you can definitely have fun and experiment, right? So take if you just like the head of it or that one's a nice one too well that's got many heads oh there's another one that's just a that's a, just a bust oh. I feel like I missed one there elephant dragon oh that's kind of a cool one elephant dragon the only thing elephant about it is the trunk so and it's got like different where different places of you know there there's the one there's the one I just traced out. Okay, this one here. Oh, sorry. Duh. I apologize. You couldn't see that at all. Duh. All right, so there's the one I just traced out here. All right, and that's my next project. I'm going to do that in blue. All right. Isn't that kind of cool? And then, sorry, go back to the ones I was talking about here. Like, there's a little wizard with a dragon behind him. Like, one that looks like a dinosaur. Dinosaur dragon. That'd be kind of cool to make for somebody. There's one that's just, like, looks like a complete snake in here. There's one that looks like a dragonfly. Dragonfly dragon. So, the elephant. Okay, hold on. I'll see if I can find it. There. That was the one I thought was really cool with the snake. I thought the snake would have been awesome and amazing. Like, for sure. Okay, and the bird. The bird, that was the other one I was pointing at. Somebody likes birds and stuff like that. Okay, music, I'll find it. Oops, back to my tea. Some pretty ones in here, that's for sure. It's gotta be up here. Oh, that's a nice one. 
That's the one that I'm like, wow, that has lots of heads on it. <laughs> That's cool. That that would be another uh, lovely one to stitch up too, right? There, there. There's the elephant dragon. Thailand. It says Thailand. See, I think it would be so cool, wouldn't it? Stitch something up like that. Right there, like I said, there's the one I, I, I was tracing out this morning. And then there, that one too, I thought was really kind of cute. Oh, that one's nice. Love the horns on that one. And this, the serpentine kind of body on it. That's pretty cool. I bought it off of Amazon for a pop about three or four years ago to just because he was getting stressed out at work and I thought, you know, give him something to, you know, color because he wanted something to color too. That's an awesome one there too. So I just got a few books. So. And it inspired, he wasn't really using them for coloring. So I thought, how else can I be inspired by these the, these oh that's a beautiful one too these projects there's there's the one we're working on right here okay it's a Kyrin from Japan oh sorry there we go there you go see and I just did a little uh, little trace out it wasn't too fancy I literally was just I had an idea I just sketched it out and I thought you know what I'm gonna stitch it so I'll hide that thank you. All right, so yeah, this should be fun. Should be fun. Uh, oh, sorry. Finished watching the, or looking at the rest of them here. So there were some cute ones. Mm. Oh, I like the one with the crown. It's like half dinosaur, half, half uh, you know. Especially if people like really cool mythological creatures that, you know, may or may not have existed. But you could certainly take certain details and run with it. So there's a couple little sample pages. Yeah, a fantasy-themed coloring book of dragons. There we go. Uh, are you going to put where there are from on the cross-stitch? Mm, what do you mean? Thank you, Anne. Appreciate that. It is a beautiful book. It was a beautiful book. And I'm happy the way it's turning out. I just, you know, when you get an idea and you just go, oh, I'm going to be inspired by this today. So here's off I go. <laughs> here, let's finish up here. Try and get some of that all done. Hello, Miss Kelly. And then off to get her allergy shot. <laughs> off to get poked by the doctor. Well, hopefully it'll be quick and painless. Oh, for sure, for sure music. That's what I was saying earlier. You don't have to do it all. You could uh, do different thread colors. You can, you know, even just do the basic outlines of some of them, like even the medallia ones. This one's the ones that we were, I was talking about earlier for here, like. Just pick a couple little shapes in there and stitch it out. And it's a great little, you know, mug rug for somebody. Nice little Christmas ornament. Just something special. A, a block to a quilt. Uh, you know, be inspired. Be inspired, right? Yeah, let's turn this this way. Make it easier on myself. there's some <clears throat> beautiful ones out there you can even just find free ones online like um look for free coloring book pages and you, you know you can even just use something as basic as that you got somebody who really likes you know dora the explorer or i'm probably dating myself here i don't know what's the latest trend but you know or peppa pig or something like that and you can do like a you know basic little stitch outline of that onto a pillow or onto an apron or you know onto something special 
and uh, I'm sure they would love it. You know, make a make a side to a bag out of out of you know the the your creation. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Actually, you will see a Sophie paw print here, 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 and here-ish. <laughs> I had to take her to the vet, and I was working on it. And I went and put it in the seat next to me, like just, you know, while I could pay. She got under the back of the car, and I was going to pay. Not realizing her excitement to come back to see me, she jumped into the front seat, or over the, over the rest, and into the front seat and stomped on it with her wet, snowy paws from the parking lot. So it was kind of like, uh, okay. And I was more concerned that she actually put the needle in her, in her paw, but I did manage to get it like looped this way. I did manage to actually get it stuck in before I went to go pay for, for the vet, um, um, uh, treatment. So, <laughs> so I was like, okay, either I could cry about this or I can still finish it and then just wash it and see what happens. So I'm finishing it and then I'll wash it. Why they fall down? Yeah, I don't know why they fall down when they laugh either. <laughs> Yes, it has a bit of a halo. <laughs> and Sophie was adding her touch. So, like I said, it was almost done. Well, I, you know, it, it wasn't, I, I was like at least three quarters. I feel like I was three quarters done. So I didn't want to stop the project. So if I finished it and it didn't turn out the way I was hoping, I was keeping it for myself and just, you know, lesson learned and in, into the, the, the pile of things to do, but, or things I've made. I think everything you take on, you learn. You should. You, you should learn something from. Right? That is. It is a goal. Is to progress through life with knowledge and experience and. We've got to go. Big hugs. Big hugs to you, Ruth. Feel better and speedy healing. And well, I'm, I'm thinking about you, girl. I'm thinking about you. It's so, yeah, exactly, Laurel. It's Sophie approved. She stopped her paw on it. <laughs> like, I wasn't mad at her at all. I was more concerned that uh, she was going to get uh, the needle in her foot or in the side of her because she was just so excited. She was just bouncing around on the chair, so like, or, or the seat. So it was kind of like, oh my gosh, just calm down, calm down. <laughs> You're only gone like 10 minutes. <laughs> but, but. Yes, I did not anticipate her excitement to jump into the front. I thought she was going to stay in the back. That did not happen. And of course, it's as I'm busy paying and I can't control her, and yeah, so because I was more concerned that she was going to stomp on the needle. It's an actual project. I could start another project. You know, it's not a. It's not the end of the world. I, I totally could. I can make it into a, or a little, or even a little block or something. Even just a pretty little wall hanging. Put some beads around the outside or something. Mm -hmm. It's Happy Tuesday, everybody. Happy Tuesday. So quiet without Pop making all his noise. <laughs> Sorry, what was that then? Uh, yes, my two, 
My two are an old grandpa who started doing it. She loves Peppa Pig. Then she'd have needed another appointment. No, she hasn't. She hasn't needed another one yet. So she's been good so far. I thought you were you were saying sorry. She's been good. Hello, Ann. Ann, what's going on? Oh, well, sorry. Yes, yes. Sorry, Ann. You're right. You're right, Ann Hayward. You're right. Exactly. I would have definitely needed another appointment. <laughs> would have been, well, I'm sure she would have let me know if she would have stepped on it. That's for sure. But Yeah, so when I, I saw that she stepped on it, I tried to grab it away right away so she wouldn't step on the needle. Even though it was out of its frame, it was all over the place. <laughs> And I'm like, lesson, lesson learned, put it on the dashboard. Don't put it on the chair. <laughs> oh, it's such a dork. Such a dork. Those are the lessons we learn as we go along. Ferris is 17 weeks old today and now weighs 40 pounds. Oh my goodness, he's as big as Sophie. She's 40 pounds. I think she was 42 the last time we had her weighed. Cut a bunch of fabric into charm size for my daughter. Oh, that'd be cool. Easy to make things with that, that's for sure. Charm, charm packs, five inch squares are awesome. There's lots you can do with a five inch square. Yeah, we were like nothing but bums on, on Sunday. We did nothing. <laughs> we were so tired. We even ordered Chinese food for dinner. It was a good kind of tired, though, because we had lots of fun, right? So on our 12-hour stream. Oh, and I did get the quilt top, uh, the main part, besides the border part, that's which I was showing as the, I started the stream today. I was working on it to get it finished. I'll get some of the strips together and maybe two sides done and... Then we can finish it off at the beginning of our Saturday stream and then and then can go to working on our English paper piecing. So with the country, country garden. English country garden pattern by Hexadoodle. She is a new quilter but refuses to branch out to other things besides squares. Also has no confidence in cutting yet, so mom to the rescue. Well, that's okay, that's okay. At least she's interested and started. And once once they get bored of the squares, they'll start looking for something else. And give them time. It's usually three or four quilts or f quilts in, and then they start looking for experiments. Like, well, what else can I do with this? <laughs> so, yeah, give them time. Got to give get make them confident, and they know that this this works for them, and they can put the seams together, and it looks really good, and it's you know, and it's something to definitely be proud of. So. Yes, build them up slowly. Uh, have you used to embroider the dragon today? It's just kind of back and forth stitches, more like a back stitch and then a bit forward, and then that's it so far. Um, some stitches are a little bit longer than others when it came to certain areas, like the horn here or the top of the hair for the horn. I don't know. Uh, but, you know, I tried to keep them pretty similar in length. Just a little coming up. And going forward, and then the, moving forward on this one, and then coming back to meet it. Not necessarily down in the same hole. And then coming up, 
following the line moving forward just a little bit and then moving forward again coming back down and meeting it and that actually makes it so it's actually kind of pretty on the back too it just has little tiny stitches almost 25 oh geez I can't believe he's almost 25 it's like where the heck did the time go how do I have a kid that's like 25 But we have a great relationship. He's a good kid. We love him dearly, and he knows it, and he's he's treasured, and it's not just like he's only child syndrome sort of thing. No, he, he really is. He's a good kid, and he's kind, and he's polite, and he, he's got a good heart on him, and he's smart. You know, so we're very, very proud of him. And I hope he gets his dream job working for a company he really wants to work for. I mean, that's that's all I could wish him is just so he can, you know, he finds that, you know, happiness and can make himself uh, some money and, you know, progress on his life. And do some more adulting, you know, as they say. I'm an adult now, whoa, whoa. Aw, thanks. Hello, Pan King. We are out until at least June, if not the rest of the year. <gasps> For school? Are you kidding me? Really? See, I have a feeling we're going to have to do that here, and then I'm going to be, like, screwed, because, as we well know, the township ain't paying. I don't, I don't want to go look for another job, right? Like, I've done that for 12 years. I really enjoy being in Crossing Guard. It works well with my quilting schedule. <laughs> and, I, we, and I can't afford not to, to have one, right? So. Well, you just totally Canadianized yourself. What did I say? <laughs> What did I say, Kelly? <laughs> what, whoa. What, whoa. What did I say? Totally Canadianized myself. Did I go A? <laughs> How many times did I say A? <laughs> My granddaughters are still attending school in Lowell Lane in Southern California. Yeah, Lois was saying that there's... They, they're fine there, like, kids are going to school and no shutdowns and all that, like, it's, some, some are really bad and areas are really bad and some are not so bad, but, you know, we've had lots of cases pop up and it's, you know, we're like a hubbub, right? We're just only an hour outside of Toronto. Toronto. You gotta say it that way, too. That's how the locals say it, Toronto. The pursuit of happiness. I'm an adult now. Oh, okay. <laughs> whoa, whoa. <laughs> I'm an adult now. <laughs> Ever since Munchkin uh, turned 18, I used to sing that to him. It was like for a whole year. I'm like, you're an adult now. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Looks at me like I'm some crazy nut job. Yep, but still his mother. <laughs> Crazy nut job, mother. It's allowed. Nobody ever said it had to be sane. Nope, nope. Oh, kids aren't easy. Are you kidding me? Jeepers creepers. If they were easy, we would have had more. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. No, we just weren't destined. We weren't destined to have more. He's the only one. And yet I always kind of felt bad for him, too, being the only one as a kid, you know. You know, I at least had my siblings to grow up with and fight with and play with and, you know, so on and so forth. But it didn't really seem to be any worse for wear, really. 20? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Jeepers, creepers, Kelly. 
grow up so fast. This is the one that's in school in Alberta. Is that the one? I know you have a daughter. You just got one of each, Kelly? Or I thought you had one of each. Maybe, maybe you got more. You got more. You harboring them. No. <laughs> Yeah, one of the, okay, that's what I thought. I thought you just said one of each. Uh oh. Hold on. Let's see if that's important. Uh, I'm live streaming, Pam. <laughs> Hi, I'm I'm live streaming. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> that's okay. Pam. I know. <laughs> tell everybody I said hi. Hello, Pam. Pam Baker says hello, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're just working on the, the red dragon. So. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Nice. Check that out right now. Alrighty. Uh, call later on. <laughs> okay. 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 Bye. All right. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> she must have forgot. That's my fellow crossing guard. I'm sure. I'm sure she's. Uh, she's just as irritated as I am that uh, we're not getting paid for our time off. So it's not that I'm not asking. You know, I, I'm. I'm more than willing to go and do my job. Right. Like. But what am I supposed to do in the meantime? I didn't ask for this. I didn't ask for COVID. I'm not taking the time off because I need it off. I'm being forced to take it off. My eldest daughter was 30 back in November. Not quite, quite, not quite sure how she got that old. I know, isn't it a mystery yet? <laughs> isn't it a mystery? How's, how's John feeling today? How's, how's John feeling today? Our patient. Our healing patient. Hello, Monty. Do you have any Patreon account? Uh, no, we have our own guild website that you could sign up for and you get extra videos and videos early and entered in to win the projects we work on, which we've been working on for the past uh, three, four years, three years, I think, is quilts. And we've given many of them away. Well, we've given all of them away. We worked on them there away, that's for sure. Got some, a pretty one coming up. Oh, my gosh. Anyone who's a, who's a paid member of the guild can attest to how gorgeous it is. I love the little simple colors, but they just, oh, it, I can't wait. I can't wait to get more rows together. It's going to look stunning. It's going to be a beautiful gift. Is Do Good just bored with being stuck in the bedroom on corn? Yeah, I bet. We've had three moose crossings through our yard right now. Mama and twins, they are good size now. This, oh, beautiful. Oh, beautiful, Gwenny. Fitch is gorgeous. 39 this year. My son will be 37, and the youngest is 24, and the 26th this month. What happened? I hear you, Susie. I hear you. What happened? Where does the time go? And the fact sometimes it goes when you're feeling, hey, there, but there's Pam. <laughs> Everybody say hi to Pam. You just heard her on the phone. <laughs> um uh, that it just, it, at the time when, you know, some things are, you know, when issues are hard or things are hard in school, it seems like it drags on forever, but really in the blink of an eye, it just goes by so fast. So that's why, you know, I want to, I know we only usually work on this, these projects on Tuesdays and I want to make sure I'm starting something early enough for, I can make it for Munchkin for his birthday. So that's why that other dragon head, this one, this one in blue I think it would look really nice. And I'm gonna put another layer of white fabric underneath of it before I stitch it. So, but yeah. And then that should either wash away or heat away when I'm all done with it. I think it'll look beautiful. Okay, bye Kelly, see you later. I'd say have fun at the doctor's, but I'm sure it's not too much fun, so. Do do. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's like they get up too, way too fast, way too fast. And I'm like, holy moly, I can't believe ours is going to be 25. And because he was a honeymoon surprise, it's kind of like, I know, I know he's going to be 25 because Pop and I just had our 25th wedding anniversary. So it's like, it just, they go hand in hand. <laughs> July 25, you know, and then you know, it'll be 26 this year. 
My goodness. And see, that's another thing. You know, doing the picture reminiscing on the the, the twelve hour stream the other night just before we said goodbye. You know, Pop and I on our wedding day, and Pop's mom and uh, Pop's mom and I dancing on the dance floor. We got we were rocking it that day. We were rocking it. We were doing the jitterbugs and stuff. We were having a good time. I work Tuesday morning, sob, online because of COVID, but ti timing is Tuesday because we work together online. Slash schedule. There we go. There you go. So it's still possible to hang out. <laughs> He's in good company. I... I was my parents' honeymoon surprise. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he definitely was. I, every time, like after we found out, hey, dollar, um, uh, that we were we were expecting. I was like, oh my gosh, we just got married. Like, holy moly. So it's like, oh, all right, all right. Guess we're gonna be parents. <laughs> so he clearly was meant to be, right? So, and I'd tell people, Cancun's very fertile. Be careful. <laughs> Or if anybody was trying to have babies, I'd be like, go to Cancun, go to Cancun. The water is very fertile there. <laughs> oh, what is it, 1110? Okay. Dun, dun. Let's scoot over here. Let's finish this. Should be just enough of our tail to finish that, and then we'll start a new thread. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I did. Came undone. Oh, there we go. Mm -hmm. Come on. Yeah. Oh, hold on. <sighs> do, do. Yeah, it's a cute little project. Like I said, you got to be inspired by stuff around you. Inspired what you have. You don't always have to spend money, right? You don't always have to spend money to make something beautiful. You can see what you have around you and be inspired by that and be creative. Oh, I, that's that's got to be so nice there, Pam. The fresh space, fresh walls, fr fresh creativity running through the brain. Sounds good. Sounds good to me. Hello, Diana. Didn't see you sneak in there. I used a thin iron-on interfacing on the back. Gives a little more heft in the... Oh, that's a great idea, Deanne. That's a great idea. Yeah. Adhering it to the back. That's it. Yeah. Especially if you have more of a, a fabric you really want to reuse, like maybe a handkerchief or like a, a blouse or a scarf or something like that. You really wanted to make something special on it. That, that's a great idea. Well done. Okay, let's tie this one and then we'll start working on the bits over here. We go come up and then start working in there. Just gonna loop it through some of the loops in the back here. Not to go through the front. Just put kind of a couple little knots. That looks cute. Hold on, let's put that there. Do 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 load up another thread. Thread, thread. Full thread. Hold on. No, it's not. I found some really nice multi-metallic colored green and red threads that would be really nice on a dress. Oh, probably. Uh, our kids are in their 40s, got teenage grandkids, crazy. <laughs> yeah, it does kind of creep up on you. Da, 
does kind of creep up. It goes by too fast sometimes. No, it's not easy being green. Yeah, Pop put that in there. <laughs> it's every time somebody say green. <laughs> just just to bug sass. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's okay start from the bottom here, work our way up. Hello there, Squab. Hello, hello. I assume you're from Sweden or Switzerland, or you're a medical person <laughs> with a heart. <laughs> Would it? Stitching ourselves a unicorn dragon. Oh, hold on. Helps if I put the right thing on there too. Apologize. Do do. Yeah. So I, I'm hoping once finished and then washed. All the blurriness will go away, and I won't have to worry about it. And it shouldn't, the thread wasn't running, it was the marker that was running. And it was just a normal little ball pin marker. Hello, Annie. Oh, how is everyone? Sorry, I'm like, that's okay. Happy you're here. Just in time. What'd you bring for snacks? <laughs> Are you still packing or are you moved? Are you moved yet? My my timeline on things is way off, so let me know. Let me know. I'm excited for you. It's got to be exciting. Hello, Miss Patina. Big hugs to you. Was that the dentist? Ugh. Ugh. Ugh, ugh. <laughs> Not my favorite. Uh, we have to paint first. Okay, at the end of January. Okay, I thought maybe you, I thought you said painting during the, the 12 hour, but I wasn't sure if you had moved in yet, so. Very nice. Oh, that's got to be so exciting. Are you doing a nice neutral light color, or do you have like something vibrant in mind? You got just got to paint the walls with it. What's, what's, what's your... <gasps> really, Pamela? Don't yank my chain, girl. Do I have to check my email? Now, Paul is our boss at the township. Fill me in. Fill everybody in right now. <laughs> okay. Because I was losing some sleep over this, let me tell you. It has a 1,000 colors now, so we want white. <laughs> I can't imagine this big, huge collage. <laughs> oh my goodness. Granddaughters are eight and six and a half. Oh, that's fantastic age. Oh, that's a great age. That's, they're so curious and, and wanting to learn and they're getting really good at their hands and stuff. We are getting paid but not sure for the first week of being off. I'm willing to accept that. I really am. It's like a barter system. Oh, thank goodness, thank goodness. Well, I think maybe my post to Facebook last night helped. I knew there was a couple people who, who uh, followed me that would uh, stir the pot, let me tell you. And uh, I think it happened. So, nice. Nice. Excellent. That is great news. All I know is I feel like doing a party dance right now. Thank you, Pam. Thank you, Pam, so much. I was, like, I was really upset. Woot. Thanks for telling me, girl. Thanks for telling me. Big stress relief, that's for sure. Yes, exactly. Woo you know, like I said, we're we're more than willing to go do our job. We're not incapable, right? <laughs> I see the party dance. <laughs> woo woo. We're not incapable. It's not like we don't want to do it. It's not like we're protesting or anything. Like we, we want to do our job. We enjoy our job, you know, like, or we wouldn't do it. You know, Pam's grown to love hers, you know. In, in fact, that when she came um, uh, for 
a couple of um, sewing uh, chats, and, you know, and she said, oh, I, I'd like to be a crossing guard. And then when the position came available, I called her and said, hey, go apply to the township. I did call Jen last night and ask for help. She said she would do what she can, and it looks like she went straight to the mayor. Very nice, very nice. And it's quickly I'll have to switch channels soon to go to work. <laughs> Party like it's 1999. Oh, that's good. That's, oh, thank goodness. Yeah, there was, I know there was a few people you know, that were, uh, that have um, people in the township that they know and stuff like that. And they know what buttons to push, so. Yeah, excellent, excellent, excellent. Oh, that's such a big relief. I'll, I'll do with, you know, three weeks without pay, two, which I was expecting because of Christmas vacation. But, uh, yeah, uh, four was a bit much. Oh, thanks, Megan, so much. Thank you so much. I didn't do any of that yet. I went looking last night, though, and went looking this morning and was talking to Pop about it. And, uh, and But I was hoping I was hoping something else would come back to in our favor. So in regards to, uh, like, listen, it's not like it's coming out of your pocket. It would have already been into the budget for the school year anyways. There's no reason why. You know, have some sort of, you know, compassion for your fellow townshippers. There's only, like, three crossing guards. Like, come on, really? It's not like we're taking everybody's budget money, so. Hello, Sharon from Ohio. Thank you, thank you. Yes, hello. Got, like, 85 people hanging out with us today. That's fantastic. Good morning, good morning. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be. Thank you for sharing your time with me. Oops, 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 oops. Got some chaos going on back here. Nope, nope, we're good. Hello, Ms. Gita. Big hugs to you. It's not fair at all. What are they doing at the lunch ladies? Oh, they, there is no lunch ladies here. There's nobody. No, no, they don't do that here in Ontario. Um, and the bus drivers are still getting paid, but the bus drivers are on their own um, their, their own company. And the, the, the school system purchased those, them, I guess, to run the buses. But uh, the bus companies, it's, it's, the bus drivers are on their own. You know, they'll get paid by their bus company. Thank you very much. Mine is a little Sophie's lovely addition to her wet paw prints on it. It looks really good. <laughs> uh, yeah, and this is the next one we're going to do. I'm going to do it in blue. And it's going to be for Munchkin for his birthday. He turns 25 in March. So, and I thought it'd be a nice one. A nice, a nice special little gift for him. So. Yeah, I think it'll be pre pretty, and I'll do that in blue, yeah. Oh, awesome, David. Hey, David and Jessica, that's good, that's good. That's, uh, we are here for, you know, the only limitation is your imagination. So let it run, let it go crazy, be inspired by, I think so too, Gita, I think you will. I think you'll, I think you'll love that. Um, yeah, unfortunately, my, my mom passed away last year on his birthday, so his, his birthday just kind of sucked all day. So I'm, I'm going to try and do my best to make up for it this year. And, um, and and make it super special. So there's a few things I'd like to make for him. So and that is one of them. I I work online, but on the owner shop owner schedule, she is she's in now. So I got to change channel and go to work. Bye, I'll, bye, Miss Gwenny. Big hugs to you. Thanks for hanging out. Thank you, thank you. My husband wants handkerchiefs, but I'm a bit unsure of how to step forward. Well, th this is a great, a, a perfect example. First, I'd find, does he want like a, 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 a monogram on the handkerchief? Is that it? Like, is that what he's doing? Or you want, you need to make handkerchiefs? Because you can buy the material and put like a little rolled hem on it with your rolled hem foot on your sewing machine. Okay. He's cheesy, he'd be happy. <laughs> you know him so well, Gita. <laughs> you know him so well. <laughs> he does love his team cheese. Actually, I got team cheese underneath my sweater here on. So I was I was chilly this morning. Pop was 
up at five and out the door by just after six. So it was it was a it was an early morning and I was chilly and it wasn't getting warm. Mm, just design. I have to make. Oh, cool, 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 cool. That's all right. Get a nice hoop and some nice thread and and uh, and make some make some pretty things. My serger rolled him. I knew. I knew who to add. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, there you go. You rip around the serger. Boom, boom, diggity. Do something in the corner, and it's awesome. And you can get some uh, fonts online, and you can just trace out the ones that you like, and just kind of maybe do a back and forth stitch, or just outline it, or I don't know. There's a, there's a few things. There's a few things you could do. Just practice. Just practice on some stuff and see what you like. Oh yeah, I'm here. I'm here for the ideas, man. Let me tell you, I got them. I got the ideas coming out of you know what. <laughs> well, maybe not. <laughs> I got an antique. A uh, serger or server? It scares me. Antiques. Okay, that's what I thought. I thought, uh, yes, because threading them is a nightmare. <sighs> yes, there are many stresses involved with threading a serger. <laughs> many cries, many tears, and many, I, my fingers don't bend that way to put that there. So how can I do that? <laughs> I'm honestly looking at the dragon. Oh, well, there's lots of free, if you go dragon coloring books online, you could be very much inspired by either like a, a, a head like this one here, or you can find maybe something that's small enough to stitch out, or, you know, you, that would be so cool in the corner or in the center of a handkerchief. That would be awesome. That's, that's a nice, that's a nice uh, detail there, that's for sure. All right, so where do I want to go up here? I want to finish off the, teeth. Should I use up the small thread? Maybe. Let's do the nose. Yes, little tweezers. They, they definitely help. They definitely help. But it's almost like you need like two people to thread a serger because this person's got to hold this and then that person's got to hold that and put that, that down and load it through there or balance with the magnifying glass, try to get it threaded. <laughs> There you go, girl. So glad we could help. <laughs> we are here if you need. I had to get the new type of sergers the, and love to follow the colored arrows. There you go. <laughs> A rope basket. Oh, that's awesome, Gita. Those are so handy. You could do them for so many things. Is that the, what is it, uh, clothesline rope? Is that the one? I've never, never done one. You have to have a bigger uh, needle in your machine, too, I believe. Is that like a jean or a denim or something like that? That's probably a good idea. Definitely switching out the needle. Okay. I think I got that there. All right, Let's, how far is that? That should be okay. Can scoot down here. Denim. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Because if it goes through that, it has it goes through the rope, doesn't it? Yeah, it's rope to rope. You're stitching the rope, rope, rope um, bits together, like you would in a like for the bag behind me, like the. Uh, if you had the, oh my gosh, what am I thinking here? The batting inside a two and a half inch strip. So you're making like a fabric rope, I guess. And then you sew that, make the carpet or the bags or whatever. Thank you, Tina. I appreciate that. I was just 
inspired one day, and I'm glad I'm, I'm finishing it. I really am. I really wanted to, to finish it, even though Sophie put her stamp of love on it. Uh, I still wanted to finish it. And if it didn't turn out, it's okay. It's mine. And I, I, I know. <laughs> Camden Bull Style. There you go. Perfect. There you go. I, that was, that's one of my most popular videos, actually, is the Camden Bowl. I think I have almost 180,000 views on it. It was actually taken in this spot here, but it was like four years ago. So, shot in this spot here. It was one of my very first, uh, within the first year of us doing uh, videos for YouTube. So... Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. I really do. I have a lot of fun, and uh, you know what? It doesn't work out. It doesn't work out, but can't say I didn't learn anything from the experience or trying something new. It's always fun. It's always fun and exciting to try something new and see how it works and how you could possibly adjust it for maybe something else or, you know, Gotta go for now. Catch you all later. Hubby is hungry and I don't want him in my kitchen. <laughs> I'll chat with you later this afternoon. Take care. Uh, that's great news. Thank you for sharing that with me. That's a big relief. Thank you, Pam. That's a big relief. Do, do, do. Via this video, I found you guys. Oh, the the Camden style, yeah. Ah, that was that was such a good fun fun good fun project. And it was so funny, my goodness, because Pop said to me when I was making it, he's like, "Why are you making a fabric bowl?" And I said to him, "Just." Let me have fun. This, it's, it's, you know, about the pattern, and let me, let me just go and have some fun with it, and, and we'll see where it goes. And lo and behold, it's one of our most popular videos. <laughs> he thought I was nuts. He thought I was literally bat poopy crazy for doing it. <laughs> Kitchen is clean. Dinner is planned. Now time to head out to the studio and work on a t-shirt quilt. I'm making, uh, make, oh, I'm taking you with me. All right. Okay, we're hanging on. Hold on, it's going to be a bumpy ride. <laughs> okay, bye, Holly. Take care. <laughs> Take care, indeed. Okay, so that's that. Now I wanted to go up this leg here. I think, yeah, to do those, to highlight those thicker stitches. Is that too far to travel? Yeah, it kind of is. Bouncy, 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 bouncy. <laughs> Hope nobody's getting motion sickness here. <laughs> Lois has a beautiful studio. She really does. Do do, 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 do. All right, let's go back to the main camera here. Finish my tea. Do. Oh, oh, beautiful flowers. Oh, oh. Uh, that's just one. It's a thread. It's a. It came off this big spool. So that's what inspired me to uh, to do this project to begin with. I had like, oh, geez, I have this big spool. What am I supposed to do with it? Like, it's thicker. It won't. It's not like it won't go through my machine. It's just like I don't need it for that. You know, I, it's more of a thicker thread. So, you're just here for the chit chat. Well, that's okay. <laughs> they don't mind it when your boyfriend says he's a good cook. <laughs> Yeah, but usually the mess they leave behind, that's the problem. Just like every pot and pan spoon in the house got to be used. <laughs> and they're only making mac and cheese. <laughs> oh, yeah. 
Indeed. All right, so I'll come up here, do around there, and then it'll be switching to the, probably just one thread of the skein to do those little scallops. Probably just one, probably just do one thread. Uh, I don't know, I got it as a gift, hold on. Uh, no Mex fiber, it says Tech 70. Spun thread, hold on, give me old lady goggles. Spun thread, fire red, one pound, 6,000 yards. Saunders Thread Company, Gaston, Gastona, Gastona, N uh, North Carolina. G-A-S-T-O-N-I-A, -A, North Carolina. So, yeah, Sanders, Saunders, S-A-U-N-D-E-R-S, -E Thread Company. I know, right? <laughs> it's like, what the heck happened in here? I thought you were just making mac and cheese. <laughs> oh, what's for dinner tonight? I am making a uh, pot roast in the instant pot with a can of cream of mushroom soup. And I'll, I'll fry up some onions beforehand and put them in there so they got nice flavor. And then it's just going to be served on a bed of noodles. We're having pizza. Oh, that sounds good. Yeah, there we go. There you go, Megan. That's it. I was going to say, it wasn't me, but I'm the only one here, so it must be. Oh, it's my half square triangle bucket fell over. That's all right. Did you get too full? <laughs> Making all that noise? What the heck? Yeah, it's fire red. Fire red is the color. Uh, one of my uh, neighbors and customers, he's a EMT and drives an ambulance for the past like 30 years or something like that so he likes going to auctions and he came across a bag of embroidery floss and some big spools of thread like that that's there's a black a brown a tan a blue red a cream so yeah so and that's why i was like oh well i should use some of these threads for some things so let's figure out what i can use it for yeah no kidding <laughs> <laughs> no kidding. We'll work on that probably during the summer. We'll try to do a couple couple weeks on putting something together with the half square triangles. Or maybe spring break. This is the last section. Oh no, there's a couple other little lines up here we could use with the big thread. Not quite. Not quite. Oh, I guess I should switch it back. Sorry. There we go. I forgot where it was. There we go. What kind of pizza are you going to have there, Lois? Is it homemade pizza or bot pizza? I'm not, I've never done tatting before, Megan, but there's some uh, really interesting people on Facebook, uh, not Facebook, uh, YouTube you can look up, so that I do know. Not something I have tried. Not saying I'm not interested in it, I just have so much other stuff on the go. It's kind of like, you know, when I'm looking for something to do or need, want to try something different, that might be it. Fish tacos. Oh, fish tacos. What kind of fish do you use for your tacos? I used to like tilapia, but we had tilapia way too much, and then I don't like tilapia anymore. So, It's from Papa Murphy's. It's raw pizza you bake when you get home. Oh, okay. That's kind of cool. That's it. Then you can cook it as much as you like and put extra ingredients on it if you want. Oh, I like that. That's a good idea. I don't mind that. 
And do you put it right on the rack or do you put it on a pizza tray or like uh, what do you what do you what do you do with yours? I stab myself in the hands more times than I can count. <laughs> Uh, whatever's in the freezer probably floundered today. Oh, okay. When you get the shop built, is is it your hope to be there full time, or will you stay? No, I'll be I'll be there full time for sure, Wendy. That'll that'll be nice by that time. I, I it'll probably be fifteen years of doing crossing guard, so no, it'd be nice to be able to hopefully do that full time. And that way we can stream more, too. We can probably stream Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday, right? So that would be that would be fun. I'd prefer that. I like the company, too. I get lonely. <laughs> okay. It's looking good. I think there's just one little line here and one right up there. Or right-ish there. Hello, Donna. How's it going? Uh, Megan, I've done tatty with a sh shuttle many years ago. Okay. That was good. I like white pizza with chicken, spinach, feta, and olives. It comes on a tray. You put it. Oh, okay. Well, that's nice to know because sometimes you got to switch, uh, switch those things to like a, a pizza rack or you, you uh, put it right on your, uh, your rack rack. Uh, that would be lovely, Miss Gita, if we could. But we'll have to see how the world ends up going. That's for sure. Mm -hmm. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Okay, let's figure out what this one was here. Was it just some crazy stitching? Or... I think this one's an ear. Yeah, let's do that one. Be quiet, Stephanie. <laughs> Shh. Nobody talk. <laughs> no loud noises. <laughs> Can I find other video? Uh, what do you? What sort of out of other video were you looking for, there, Miss Donna? Other videos of this? Yes, they 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 should be in the playlist. Or you just have to go cycle through the uh, the videos. Okay. okay, I don't know what that one is, but we're going to stitch it anyways. Oh, maybe it was the other swirl. Oh, okay, okay, I see it now. I see it now. Now that I started it, I see it. Just didn't get its swirl finished. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. Well, there's lots, lots out there for videos, that's for sure. I'm sure the internet is saturated for YouTube. YouTube University. <laughs> teaches us all. I did not enjoy the Oreo cheese cream cheese balls the other night. I had one bite. I didn't I didn't like it. It was it wasn't for me. <laughs> it wasn't for me. And that's okay. Not everything has to be. Pop ate his but he doesn't like it either. So <laughs> like munchkin they're all yours. <laughs> Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. I appreciate that. I really do. Okay, I think that was it for the big. What time are we at here? 42? Okay, maybe we should just call for today. Because lunch is going to come up and get his lunch soon. And he's on his lunch break. That looks pretty good, though. I'm liking it. I really, really like it. His belly. <laughs> Get in his belly. <laughs> He's fine with that. <laughs> but he was, he was, he was being, because Pop didn't like them, 
and there was Oreos in the package. So Pop gave him trouble for eating the Oreos in the package when he could have had one of the, the chocolate ball things. <laughs> It's like, listen, you're the only one who's going to eat them, so eat those instead. <laughs> Leave my cookies alone. Oh, missing stitches in his belly? Oh, right there. Thank you. Thank you. Thought you meant Munchkin in his belly. <laughs> right there. You betcha. There's one little strip. And then we'll have to come in with the, uh, the other smaller thread. Thank you, Ms. Lewis. Let's do that quickly here. We'll pick it up this next. We, we may hang out on Thursday. If anybody wants to come hang out on Thursday, we may hang out on Thursday and finish, maybe finish this up. Okay. I think Pop is also uh, not going to be here that day either. So um, that would be if anybody wants to come hang out. Both? Both bellies. <laughs> oh, for both, both the bellies of the dragon and munchkin. <laughs> there we go. Almost finished. And that's some nice thread to work with. I'm just saying, I like it. It didn't fray. It didn't, um, didn't knot up a lot. I mean, there was a couple times I had some knots, but I thought maybe it was because just because my tail was too long. <coughs> <Sorry. coughs> Tickle. <coughs> Yikes. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Above his head. Hold on. Above his head. Hold on. Go back to the overhead. What do you mean a bit above his head? Keep breathing. I know. <laughs> that's Sophie paw print. That's that's Sophie showing her love to the project. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> I do too, Deanne. I appreciate that. Good conversation and a cup of tea. Huh. About the same time, 10, 10 a.m. Eastern. Yep. Maybe nine. Maybe nine. <laughs> Don't wash uh, the love off. <laughs> oh, it was. I did have uh, a little writ here was one little line section there. And I got a weird one here, but I don't see it really matching up with anything. So I'm hoping it'll wash out, um, but that's okay. I'm gonna do the teeth here and all these little tiny scales <clears throat> with a thinner, um, like the, the skeins of um, embroidery floss here. And I'll probably only use one. I'll probably only use one strand. I think that'll be I think that'll be good. And it's almost the same red. It's almost the same colored red. So I think it'll be a good, a good, good plan. The dots, uh, no, no, no dots. Scales, scales, yeah. Oh yeah, that's okay, I appreciate the feedback. I don't wanna miss anything either, so yeah, go back to me. <clears throat> yeah, and that'll be our second one that we do. That one there. Put it in the hoop. I think that'll be awesome in blue. We'll start that next, probably next week. I think it'll be awesome. If we get to it on Thursday, that'll be nice too. So. <coughs> All right, before the tickle gets even more annoying, I gotta, I gotta go shut everything off in the other room. So uh, anybody have any questions? Anybody have any questions at all? Other than that, well, I don't see maybe like nine, nine or 10 on Thursday, we'll be here. Just look for the notification. Yes, you enjoy your day too, Miss Annie O, and have fun painting. Mm-hmm, indeed, indeed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, just my pay, not extra pay. Just pay. <laughs> I'd love to see it, Deanne. You don't know. Oh, bye, Lois. Thank you, big hugs. All right, we'll see everybody on uh, Thursday. Um, if you don't get a notification, then there's something wrong with the software or something's going on because we did have issues this morning. Uh, but uh, we'll try and be here, okay? All right, I'm going to go shut all the other stuff off. So thank you, everybody. Big hugs to you. Hope you have a good day, and thank you very much for joining me, okay? So big, we'll see you. Oh, yeah, the bucket. <laughs>